Like I'm a grown woman. Like I'm grown and I need a space that reflects that. And then if you keep on going further back, I seem so far away. I feel like a genius for coming up with this. I'm probably not a genius, but I feel like a genius. I love this space so much. Like, yeah, I am so excited. I am so, so excited. I'm not sure how I feel about this camera angle. And I'm not sure what's going on with my hair. What's going on with my hair? Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to This Girl's Insights, where you can find vlogs and sit down conversations about faith and lifestyle. In each of my videos, I share my insights, my journey, my life with you. And yo, well, I am so excited about today's video. You don't even know how excited I am. Obviously, you know, because I am speaking like this and all of this is a situation. <laughs> I feel like I need to calm down. So I'm probably gonna make a cup of tea. And I'm just gonna take you through guys what I have done with it and the befores and the afters. I don't know why I'm describing to you what a studio apartment tour is, nor do I know why I am speaking this way. Let us go make a cup of tea, y'all. <laughs> Unless if you've been with me for a long time, you might not have seen my MC Studio flat tour. So I'm going to give you guys a bit of a background. So basically, when I first moved to this flat, I downsized from a family home and it was a three bedroom house. And I was looking to move to a smaller place. And when I found this place, it was actually advertised as a double bedroom. So it wasn't advertised or decorated as a studio flat. It was a very bare space. But I really liked the shape and the look of the room. So I ended up making the choice to go for the room and do quite a bit of work to turn it into what I wanted it to be. Let's go sit down. So what I was trying to say in the kitchen was, because I was downsizing, I didn't want to feel like I was suddenly like back at uni. Like I wanted a space that reflected my personality that I felt comfortable in, that I loved. Um, a space that just felt adult and just like, you know, like, like I'm a grown woman, like I'm grown and I need a space that reflects that. So that was the first thing I knew I needed. The second thing I knew I needed was the fact that I had a lot of stuff because I had all that space. And suddenly I now had to downsize and I had to think about, okay, how can I make storage work and how can I be creative? And before we go into anything, I think the one thing I have to say about this tour is the fact that I love this space so much. It is very me, which is the most important thing whenever you're doing a decorating project, that it reflects you. It is very me, it is just... <sighs> Anyways, so that's basically the background to it. Ooh. By the way, in case you all are wondering, for any Insta people, this is Turkish tea today. Um, and if you're not in my Insta family, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere on the screen right now. Come over, join the Insta family. That way you get content more regularly and you just see all the craziness that is going on. Let me put this down. I think obviously we know for us to start, we have to go back to the door. So yo, as you can see, as soon as I walk into the room, I walk straight into the bedroom. And it is a very long room slash flat. So as soon as you walk in, you can see everything. You can basically see most of the room apart from the bathroom. As you also saw in the before as well, it was a very long space and there wasn't really much kind of divide in the space. And because I wanted it to almost feel like a bedroom, living room and kitchen area, what I did was I actually decided to make very clear lines. So right now, from your perspective or my perspective, I am standing in the bedroom. There's a wardrobe over here and there is a bed to the side right here. As we then move, we can then see from this space onwards, we've almost got a living area. And then if you keep on going further back, I seem so far away, you've then got a kitchen area and then you've got the bathroom to the side. So that's generally the overview of the structure of the full room. And what I wanted to do was I almost wanted to have very clean lines to say, okay, the bedroom ends here, the living room ends here, and then you've got the kitchen. So it feels like very separate spaces. So even though it was rented to me as one space, as a bedroom, what I wanted to do is I wanted it to feel like a studio flat and I converted it into that. So the first thing I did from a decoration point of view was I had the room repainted because it was initially eggshell. And again, I just wanted like a, a nice, clean space now two years down the line we can see they didn't spend a lot of money on the paint and the paint job isn't as fresh so to start off the tour and kind of talk you through what i did we're going to start off with the bedroom area so right there that is the front door um and then as soon as you come in the front door you can see the bed right over there and i made quite a few changes to this part of the room what i did was first of all this wardrobe 
I bought in this massive Ikea wardrobe and those of you that have been with me for a while will have seen the video where I put this together or you might just if you check out the DIY with Onion series you will see a lot of things in this room being put together but this has just been really great for storage because it comes with a lot of hanging space and then places to fold stuff as well in here as well you've also then just got this space over here and I just kind of used the top of it for storing my suitcases exercise stuff just some shoe boxes on there as well so basically this has been great for storage area and that was kind of like the first big thing i did in the room just because i needed to unpack my clothes the second major thing that i did was created an office area i tried to create an office area right next to the bed now that is on purpose that is not a space issue um generally i like working in bed so i like like you know sometimes i've sat at the chair or sometimes i'm actually sat in the bed itself and I'm facing the desk this way. So it kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for. And the way my computer screens are set up, I can swing it either way. Now, the reason I am in love with this desk, and it took me a long time to find something I wanted, was because I wanted something with storage. Like I mentioned earlier on, I came with a lot of stuff. And I needed somewhere to put all of this stuff. So what I did is, and I'll show you the desk. Um, first of all, it comes with pull-out wardrobes, as you can see. So basically, I've got some paperwork in here. I'm able to store things in here. And they're all a pretty good space. This is actually, the top one is actually, I guess, you know, everyone has that wardrobe where they just throw their junk in and it's just random stuff in there. There you go. And it's actually quite a lot of space in there. Um, You've got your selfie stick, stress ball, because you know, sometimes you need that. Headphones, just a bunch of stuff. But then I can basically store stuff in there. The other two are a bit more organized. Um, But apart from that, one of the reasons I actually love this desk is because it also came with shelves on the side. So I have a lot of books. So I really like the fact that I had another place where I could actually... So there I have got like my Bibles. I have got like some devotionals right next to my bed. I've also got some other books as well. And then I can store my printer at the very bottom of that as well. So basically, I wanted this desk and I love this desk because apart from the fact that it gave me the office area I needed, it gave me extra storage without taking too much space. Mm. Whoa. I feel like I've been talking a lot, like my throat actually feels dry. Now, another way I was able to save space in the bedroom area is right behind me. So basically what I did was I created, I bought like coat hooks. So instead of me trying to hang my coats in my wardrobe because I've basically tried to stuff all my clothes in there or having a separate rail for my coats, what I did was I bought over the door hooks and with these over the door hooks, um, I'm able to hang a lot a lot a lot a lot i've basically i've got i've lost there are loads of coats on here it's a lot of stuff and it's basically got one two three four five six it has got 12 hooks on there if i can show you you've got one and two and it's really strong as well but you've got one and two hooks on there and you've got six of those and you can hang multiple stuff on there and it's just like you know it isn't the nicest thing it isn't the prettiest thing but then it's also not the worst thing and it also just saves so much space so y'all Coat hooks are your friend. And last but not least, and as I am speaking, I actually think this is actually my favorite feature in this whole, no, actually it's not my favorite feature in the whole studio flat, but it is my favorite feature in the bedroom because I feel like a genius for coming up with this. I'm probably not a genius, but I feel like a genius for coming up with this. So y'all just like, you know, let me have it. Don't need to like dash my hopes in the comment section. But basically, obviously I have got this desk area. And as you can see, I like to keep it pretty clean. Behind the monitor, I do have some things on there. So I do have a camera. Um, that's a different story. I had issues with the property manager just letting himself into the property whenever he wanted. So I needed to get a camera that could speak so I could basically just <laughs> tell him to get out. Um, um, I also have like a little clock thing, which is again, just small, doesn't take up too much space. It's an alarm. And last but not least, we have got this. This is one of those selfies. Where's my phone? You can attach to your phone and it gives you the lighting you need when you're taking a picture. Now, what I did was when I was looking for a table lamp, I was looking for a small compact table lamp. And then I happened to buy this for my sister and I bought one for myself. And I realized instead of a table lamp that would basically end up taking about this much space, how about I have this? It literally just fits right there. And it literally 
acts like a nightlight when I'm ready for bed. So it's part of my winding down routine when I'm getting ready for bed and all the main lights go out. I have that so I can still see. Now the last thing I'm going to point out in the bedroom area is this cushion over there. And that wasn't really a decorating choice. But those of you that follow me will know it took ages for me to decide on a sofa or actually just even shop for a sofa because I was putting all the other furniture together. And what I needed was I needed back support. So I found that on eBay and it wasn't cheap. Like I think it was, well it wasn't expensive, it wasn't expensive either. It was somewhere around the 50 quid mark. I could put that on the floor or I could put it on the bed and it would basically act as back support for me because I could lean on it and then it gave me the arms almost like a sofa without the seat, if that makes sense. Because I have had a couple people either on Instagram or on here, I feel like it's on Instagram. I have had a couple people ask me, what the heck is that? Um, So y'all, it is basically like a sofa without the seat which I needed before I got my sofa. And on that note, let's move on to the living room area. Okay, now as we come into the living area, um, first thing you notice is so far. You know I am in love. I can be reading my Bible and I can do all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this. So even though it's a small space, I don't feel restricted. No, I fall asleep like this so often. You don't even know. <laughs> oh my days. 